Hi, my name is Greg Teschke, and I'll be talking to you today about the Mechanical Technician CNC program that we offer at Conestoga College. So this program is a two-year Ontario College Diploma program, and we run that through the Dune campus. Uh, your coordinator for this program is Joe Van den Enden, and his contact information is in the bottom left-hand corner. So if you have any questions after you watch this video, please feel free to send Joe an email and he'll get back to you as soon as he can. So there's four different programs within our precision metal group. And the nice thing about these programs is the first two semesters are common across all four programs. So you could start in the general machinist program and then maybe transfer into the CNC program or you can go from the CNC program into the general machinist program, uh, it's up to you. With the first two semesters being common between all four programs, it really opens up some, some avenues, some different possibilities for you, some different pathways. So it's, it's really handy that way. So let's take a look at the mechanical technician CNC program. So semester three and four are when you specialize in the CNC uh, portion. You get a, a good solid understanding of manual machining, uh, work holding, what the tooling can and cannot do before you start into the CNC in the third semester. At the end of the fourth semester, you graduate and then you move on into industry. So this program really specializes in CNC uh, equipment, CNC operation, programming, uh, manual, and with uh, CAD software. You learn how to load programs, set the machines up, and optimize them for you know uh, production runs, that type of thing. This program is also uh, accelerated delivery. So you get a two-year diploma in four semesters. Uh, if you remember back to that flow chart that I showed you, there was no co-op semesters, there was no semesters off. So it's, four semesters straight in school, and then you graduate. Uh, this program also has one intake per semester. So there's a, a fall, winter, and spring intake. So September, January, and May. This program is extremely popular and it fills up very quickly. So if you apply to this program, you hopefully you'll get a, an offer of acceptance from college. Make sure that you confirm that offer as soon as possible. Uh, there'll be a date in that offer letter, you know, confirmed by this date. Make sure you confirm by that date. Otherwise, what happens is you lose your spot and it goes to somebody else. So make sure you confirm as soon as possible. This program has a bring your own device model. So you're expected to provide a laptop uh, at your own expense that meets our uh, minimum device requirements so that you can run the, some of the specialized software that we use. So during the first few weeks of class, you'll be provided with instructions on how to download the software, uh, license keys, if, if any of them are required, um, passcodes, stuff like that. So all the instructions will be provided for you in order to download the software. Uh, the software we use requires a, a fairly robust computer. So it needs uh, Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit Pro operating system. Our softwares will not run on a Mac. So you, you need to make sure it's Windows based. You're gonna need a uh, minimum eight gigs of memory. And then the other big thing is a discrete graphics card with at least two gigs of memory. The onboard graphics are integrated into the motherboard. Those won't work for the software that we're running you need a, a discrete graphics card with at least two gigs of memory. So there's a, a virtual tour here you can, you can take through. There's 66 slides, it covers all aspects of the campus, you know, different areas you might be interested in, student recreation, uh, cafeteria, food services, places like that. I've pulled out a few slides that are a little more pertinent to our uh, program. So the first slide here is the Dune Machine Shop, and this is the CNC area. So here we've got our wire EDM machine. That's mainly used by the tool and die maker 
uh, program, but nothing saying we can't use it in, in ours. We have a total of seven CNC mills and six CNC lathes, um, mostly Haas equipment with some Akuma equipment in there. Uh, the Akumas are nice to run as well. Here's a, a picture of our Cambridge machine shop for some of the manual machines we'll be using. Uh, the layout's very similar to our Dune machine shop and the equipment's very similar. You'll be working on the manual machines for the first two semesters before you progress onto the CNC machines for your last two semesters. So this is the type of equipment that you will be running. Here we've got a, an open access computer lab. And this is great if you've got a, a few hours you know, between class or at the end of the day before your bus comes, that type of thing. You, know, you can come in here, you can get ahead on, on some of your schoolwork. And these labs are open anytime. You just come in and work when it suits you. There are some awards and scholarships available uh, through Student Financial Services. So the first list is scholarships that are available to all programs. And I'm just scrolling through quickly and you can see there's, there's quite a number of them. Down towards the bottom of the page, you know, we're in the CNC program, you can look up uh, scholarships and awards that are specific to your program. So in this case, we have the CNC program and we have the Gene Haas scholarship with a $5,000 value for a CNC uh, student. So information on how to apply for these and when to apply will be provided by the faculty uh, as the time comes. So, but just be aware that they are out there and feel free to apply for them. After you graduate from this program, you're, you're well placed to, to work in advanced manufacturing. So CNC machining, um, you've got a little bit more experience, not necessarily uh, an operator. You could be a, a setup operator uh, in a, a large CNC environment. You've got uh, a lot of skills with the CAD software, the CAM software, manual program development, you know, machining practice. So you're well placed to step in at you know, above an entry level position in a CNC manufacturing environment. Some frequently asked questions I get about this program. Um, you know, are there any awards or scholarships available? So I, I briefly went through that. And I've also included the, the link here back to that page so you can, you can look into that if you, if you wish to. Let's say you transfer programs. So, you know, do I need to retake any courses if I transfer from program to program? And the answer is no. The, the way it's structured, as long as the course codes are the same, you know, you transfer from say the general machinist program to the CNC program, as long as the course codes are the same, uh, you get automatic credit for those. And then who do I talk to if I have any questions about the program? Um, the best spot would be your program coordinator. So in this case, it would be Joe Van at Enden, and he can answer any questions you might have about the program. For a little bit more in-depth information about the program, you can follow the link here, and that takes you to our program homepage. And you can go through there, and it covers everything. You know, program handbook is in there. The courses you'll be taking, um, everything's in there. So thank you for watching my presentation, and I hope to see you soon at Conestoga. And again, if you have any questions about this program, please feel free to contact Joe Van at Enden at uh, conestogac.on.ca. And uh, thank you for watching my video.